Data analysis is a crucial part of any business decision making process and sometimes data is not in the format that we need to derive insights from it. In such cases, we need to transform the data to make it suitable for analysis. One common transformation that is often required is to pivot a table which means to convert rows into columns or vice versa. Suppose we have a table with the following data. Let us write a query that takes a table with date, count, and event and then transform it to into a table which has the date impressions click and login the transform table will now have one row for each unique date in the original table and the values in the columns represent the count of events for the each date So let us now write the query to transform this table into this format. Select date max we are going to use case statement case when event event is equal to impression then we need count else zero end as impression Common. Next, we will write one more case statement to get clicks. Max, let me copy and paste this statement. Case when event is equal to click, then count else zero, end as click. Similarly, we need to write one more case statement for login. in as login from table name that is event underscore data group by date so first let's see the data present in the events data table so this is how we have the data in the events table we are going to transform it to show separate columns for impression click and login okay let me run this query now we have the data displayed in the required format let us understand how this query works so the select statement selects the columns that we want to see in the final output that is date, impression, click, login. So these are the four columns that we are getting in the output. Next we have the case statement to conditionally select the count of each event type that is impression for each date. The case statements checks the value in the event column and if it matches with the specified event type it returns the value in the count column otherwise it returns zero. The max function here then selects the maximum value of each event type for each date. Finally the group by date class groups the rows by date so that we get one row for each unique date in the original table okay because we have multiple dates in the event data table we need to group by date to get single date value for to see the output so to conclude the private 
Transformation is a technique to transform data to make it suitable for analysis. The query we discussed here is an example of such transformation which uses conditional aggregation to pivot a table and convert rows into columns. Understanding this technique is essential SQL skill for anyone working with the data. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. I will provide a create statement and insert data statements in the description so that you can practice by yourself. Thank you for watching.